Welcome to SFGAM Studio. Today I'm excited to bring you Wing Lee. Wing is the actor from the new play here in San Francisco, Beijing, California. Hello, Wing. Hi, Stbo. How are you? Good. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So how exciting! Uh, Beijing, California premiere July first. Yeah, it's um, it's very exciting. It's a new play by Paul Heller, directed by Dewey Nguyen. And they are co-originators of this project, and it's it's just fun to be involved in the process where it's a world premiere and hearing how they came about with this idea and to see the evolution. Even when we're rehearsing, there's um, different lines, changes, and the character evolving, either adding more or taking out based on what we're doing in rehearsal. So it's it's an ever. E Evolving process and it's very exciting. And this place is produced by uh, Asian American Theatre Company. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what is Beijing, California? <laughs> what is Beijing, California? It's a place set in twenty forties to twenty fifties. Mm. It's about um, a not so impossible feat where China takes over America and reducing. Mm. The Americans to a third world country where everything is the mono power um, control. So, what it means for Americans to, or what is our Americanness under the regime when all the privileges and when all the advantages are stripped away, and what is left? What is our core value of? The American dream, or what is an American? How do we survive? So the the basic theme of this play is survival. I see. Uh, so so tell us a little bit more uh, the come about of this play. What what inspire of? Uh... <laughs> um, it's a great story, which um, they showed um, was that Paul and Dewey uh, were Paul Heller. Paul Heller, yes, uh -huh. the playwright, and Dewey knew and the director. They they. The whole idea started as a joke, and they were joking. What if the Vietnam War ended differently? I see. So that would be. So I think the the play at its first incarnation was called v, um, Saigon, California, mm. and so what it means when the red take took over the world, and then it evolves into a more eminent threat based on the recent. Um, emergence of China to the dominant economic power in the world. So it, it changed to a more eminent threat to Beijing, California, and how that affects the entire um, world dynamics. Wow. Uh, tell, tell me about your role in this play. My role, I play the Chinese president. Uh, <laughs> yes. So when I'm talking about all the stripping away, I don't have to go through that because I'm still experiencing the 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 elite, the privileged ones. Right. Um, in the first act, I'm I play the president from how he graduated from Peking University and mm -hmm. came to Harbor Law and met Jimmy Cole, the other character who eventually becomes the American president. How their friendship evolves. Um, and then when the, the two countries come to a conflict of interest when China has to take over America and how that dynamics change where I, that's my friend, but I have a job to do. Mm -hmm. I have to answer to two billion citizens. So the conflict, the, the um, agony that he has to go through. Mm -hmm. That's the first role. The other role is um, I play this reporter who is the privileged ones after the Chinese incursion. Mm -hmm. uh, how he goes through and in, is feeling entitled to all the things, because he's the standard, he's the norm. Just mm -hmm. very much like, um, I think they got this inspiration from, before you know the GIs patrolling in Vietnam and right now in so there's this sense of entitlement that you know they portray and I think that's what my character is reflecting on the sense of entitlement the privileged ones so I understand there are three parts there are three parts okay in show. well uh... the first part is the evolution, how it becomes that China takes over America. Mm -hmm. The second part deals with uh, love and sex, what it means um, to 
to live under the, com I don't know if it's communist, I think it's more socialist um, mm -hmm. regime. Mm -hmm. um, how it goes from democratic and what it means love and sex in, in how, how do people maneuver in that society. Mm -hmm. And the third one is surviving ethics. Again, when you're stripped away, you know, what, what is the core American value? What is the things that you will hold, your, hold on to for your dear life mm -hmm. when there seemingly are no more moral standards? I see, I see. So, uh, I haven't seen the play and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. uh, what would I take away uh, when from, the, from, the, from, this from play? seeing this show? Yes. I would hope the audience would um, re-examine and use this as a jumping point or a conversation starter to talk about how, for them, each individually, what, what it means to be an American. Right. And to also reflect on the world as, you know, at large, what it means to be also a human being. How, what are you willing to do to survive? And what are the things that you are not willing to give up in dire situations? I see. That is very interesting. You Isn't know, it? being American, I don't think we, you know, have ever, you know, encountered in, in, in such a situation, mm -hmm. you know, uh, rather dire strait. Yeah. So what is your experience? Uh, you know, playing in, in these these roles, it's it's um, it makes me think a lot about what I do and what I need to make sure that all these characters are still true and real life um, characters that people can relate to. So they're not mm. being portrayed as the devil taking over America. They're not the one dimensional like a Disney villain kind of um, character. See. So for me, it's finding their truth mm -hmm. and telling their story without me commenting on it. Whether I agree with their choices or not, it's not my job as an actor to interpret, but to just find their truth and tell the story and carry the story along. I see. So uh, take us back behind the scene. Uh, you know, how is, <laughs> how, how is it like to work with everybody? The messy process. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been fun. I mean, like I said, it's a very collaborative effort. Uh, the playwright and the director, they're very open to uh -huh. our interpretation. And I remember one, at the very first, early on of the stage, the director and the playwright both said that each of us during our audition brought something to the role that they made, that made them think. Mm -hmm. So it's, you, it's really engaging for us as actors to be able to bring our our experience or our take, our interpretation to the table so that they can work with it and e even incorporate it into the play. So it makes it more personal for us. Right. So now, uh, you know, being a play is very different than in front of, uh, you know, making a movie. Mm -hmm. You have to memorize everything. Right. How do you do that? Uh, it takes a lot of um, tedious repetition I think that's <laughs> that's just you know the nature of the game but also it helps when you're doing it a few times with the with your scene partners with your at fellow actors mm -hmm. that you get into their mindset so so you get the arc of the thought of the character and from the dialogue from the rehearsals it just comes more natural to help you memorize the um, the lines and f find out the through line of the character okay tell me the truth have you ever thought forgotten about your line. Oh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I what do you, like, what like, do you do? You have to improvise, uh, you have to be in the moment, and hopefully the other actors will um, go along. Um, uh, if you skip a section, you just pick up from where you are and then just go off, um, go on from that point on. Can the audience tell? Because usually I, I'm not able to. If they shouldn't be able to tell, that's right. our job to make, to keep the story going. Uh -huh. um, if they can tell, then we've not done our job. Right, I see. Uh, the second thing is, mm -hmm. you know, when you act in front of uh, the audience, they are pretty close. I mean, I mean, how could you not aware of, you know, audience, just not, not mm -hmm. that many feet mm -hmm. away from you? Do you have a secret? Uh, um, not really a th secret, but I think it's oh. just um, the theater convention that there is the fourth wall that, you know, I see. so this audience pretty much doesn't exist um, unless it's a director's choice to engage the audience. Right. And it comes from experience from, because it's, it's really hard. When I first started, I was totally self-conscious knowing that there's someone 
observing me and I, um, I have to do this. So it, it, it takes time, it takes training, it takes um, practice to, uh -huh. to use that the fourth wall so you, you are able to be in the moment and stay connected to your seeing partner.